Louis Brunson says it's time to retire Dinger, or at least change the Rockies mascot's name, explaining the Colorado character's moniker is just too similar to the N-word. The Miami Marlins outfielder spoke in depth with reporters on Monday for the first time since Sunday's drama in Denver, and it seems his solution to the issues that were created at Coors Field would be for the Rockies to just move on from the mascot's current name. Maybe change the mascot's name, Brinson said. It sounds a little similar, especially on video. If you missed it, many believed a fan behind home plate repeatedly called Branson the inward during one of his at-bats in Sunday's Marlins vs. Rockies tilt. Both teams' broadcasts picked up the audio, and it seemed bad. After an investigation, though, the Rockies said they confirmed the fan did not say the N-word, but was rather screaming up for the team's mascot, Dinger. If you look closely he was trying to get the attention of Dinger the Rockies mascot. Pick.twitter.com slash kvb8 harvpix. Rista, at Rista, August 9, 2021 at Rista. Brinson was asked about all of that before his game against the Padres on Monday, and it appears he isn't necessarily buying the explanation. Brinson told reporters when he watched back the video, the N-word seems clear to him. So I watched the video at least 50 times in the past 15 to 16 hours, Brunson said. I watched it a lot, especially when I heard that he said Dinger instead of the N-word. I personally, this is, again, my personal opinion, I personally keep hearing the N-word. It's not that I want to hear it, I never want to hear it. Getty. But, Brinson did add, if he was yelling for the mascot, I am sorry for any backlash or any unnecessary attention has given right now. The Rockies have said there is no punishment coming for the fan. They've also added they have no plans to change their mascot's name. As for how Brunson played in wake of it all on Monday night, he balled out, going 2-for-4 with a home run in the Marlins' loss to the Padres, 